In this experiment, we need to make two foil boats. So you just need two small pieces of aluminum foil, and I'm gonna bend up the walls and fold the corners, and I'm just gonna make two simple boats. Okay, just like that, and like that. Okay, there's one boat, that's gonna work. And let's make a second boat, same exact way. Fold up the walls and then bend the corners over. And it looks like that. They don't need to be anything super special. And there's our two foil boats. We also have our tank of water that we're gonna use. Make sure you leave uh, some, a few inches at the top. Now it's time to make the hot water container that's gonna go at the bottom of the tank. So to do this, I use a baby food jar with some pennies in it to weight it down when it gets into the tank. And I'm gonna put some red food coloring, red dye, just a squirt of that, okay. And now I'm gonna fill it with some hot water, which I already have here. Fill it up near the top, eh, like that. Okay, now the hardest part, the kind of tricky part, is I'm gonna cover aluminum foil over the top. Okay, and then I'm going to put a rubber band on it to help so that the uh, aluminum foil stays there. Okay, and then finally, I'm gonna poke a hole in the top with a sharp instrument, like a pencil, and I'm gonna make the hole about an eighth of an inch wide. Okay, and that's good. Okay, I'm now gonna take this hot water jar and I'm gonna use some tongs to lower it into the water. And I'm gonna turn it sideways once I put it in the water. Oh yeah, very nice. Oh, gotta get it sideways. There we go. Okay, just like that. And right now you can see the hot red water is rising to the top, okay? And in the next step, I'm gonna put a blue ice cube. It's just water that I put some blue dye and I'm gonna put one blue ice cube into the tank. And set it right on the surface. And the final step is I'm gonna take the two aluminum foil boats that we made and I'm gonna set those on the surface as well. And then we are simply going to watch and observe. Now, if you look closely, you can clearly see the blue ice, the blue dye water from the ice is sinking to the bottom. And the red dye from the baby food jar with a hole in it is rising to the top. Here's a side view from the bottom. You can clearly see the red dye leaking out of the jar and rising to the surface. Also, we need to watch and see what the boats are doing. You can clearly see that the boats are moving around. And this is an important part of our model. I taped a piece of white paper to the back of the tank to make it so the red and the blue shows up better.
Here's an explanation of how the Earth really works and how our model ties in with the real Earth. Here's the inner core, super hot. Outer core, a little cooler. The mantle, a little cooler, but still melted rock. And then the crust, which is solidified rock and the coolest layer of the Earth. And what we are modeling here is a divergent boundary because there's a ridge and two plates are pulling apart. And this might model the mid-Atlantic ridge under the Atlantic Ocean. So as you can see, the magma, when it touches the outer core, the outer core is hot, the magma gets hot, and hot things tend to rise because they have a lower density because the particles spread out a little bit. Once it reaches the bottom of the crust, it starts cooling off and it drags the crust this way, and then it gets cooler, the particles get closer together, and it sinks back down to touch the outer core again. And so that's the cycle uh, of, the, of the magma, and it's called convection currents. This one goes this way, and that is what causes the plates to move. Now, in our actual model, the, um, the red food coloring dye in the baby food jar was at the bottom of the tank. That represented the hot magma touching the outer core and rising to the surface. The blue ice cube at the top of our tank represented the cooler magma, which sinks back down. And the foil boats represented the crust or lithosphere that is actually moving and pulling apart because of these convection currents inside the earth. Okay, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.